Well, Hemi Taylor in particular is walking a very dangerous line there. If he stands up to try to indicate to the referee that it's gone 90 degrees, it's the referee who makes the decision and not the player. On the charge then is Paddy Johns. Hawkery gets the possession again for Ireland to Popplewell. Ireland just a few metres out from the first post. Kagan has come in field. Shows his strength to turn the prop away. Once again is Paddy Johns. Gives the scoring pass. Yes! What a tremendous moment then for the Irish replacement, Eddie Halvey. And that surely is the try that has sealed the quarter-final place for Ireland. Well, they say in rugby that things tend to balance themselves up during the game. And in the first half, Wales benefited from the decision, basically, of the referee to award them three points after the free kick when the ball wasn't touched. On this occasion, I think we'll see on the rerun that when Ireland go forward, they actually knock the ball on. But in saying that, didn't they take their chance well, Nigel? Yeah, I didn't notice that myself, although I never refereed. It was a great passage of play for Ireland. In many respects, uh, they, they, they tried the same sort of game that Wales have been doing. They were battering on and on and on in the forwards, but it opened up for them in the way that the Irish defence hasn't opened up. There weren't the Welsh tackers there and allowed replacement Eddie Halvey to go over for the try. A third converted try then for Ireland, and the first for his country by Eddie Halvey. Let's see if we can spot that uh, knock on. It must have been earlier than that, though. And it remains to be seen if Paddy Helby will actually stay on the field.